honey, Sagittarius, this this right lat lat of mine. I don't know what's going on, but I, it's because I've been holding this phone. Ooh, almost there. So Sagittarius, here we go. I'm gonna pull a card for you. Yes, work. Okay, so this is interesting, right? Being the hanged man, it's giving us Neptunian energy, which, you know, Neptune likes Sagittarius. Neptune, I believe, what, the galactic center is there, right? 26 degrees, 27, something like that. I don't know. Um, but Neptune does like Sagittarius. It's talking about spiritual enlightenment for you. The full moon is actually happening in your... Um, I guess if you're Sag rising, it's happening in your first house. But it's happening wherever, you know, the sun is in Sagittarius in your chart. It's going to hit that point at some time during that two and a half day span when the moon is in its, its peaking there in Sagittarius. So it's saying like something at 111, it's saying that something has fulfilled its purpose, right? This spiritual cycle has fulfilled itself. Maybe this karma has been wrapped up in some kind of way, but you've been patient and I want you to continue to be patient because we're still in the energy of this moon. No. Look, okay, come on now. I'm sorry, I'm not going to stop it because we're at one, what, 140? Okay, just listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Okay, that's what spirit has been saying to you. <laughs> okay, because it is the hanged man. It is number 12, which is reducing to a three. That is connected to the empress, which is Venus. She is number three. And uh, the third house is communication. That's talking about listening, right? Instead of speaking. So that's what this is This is talking about, right? This would be a good time for you to just kind of like listen, right? Uh, the threes are associated with Venus. The threes are uh, associated with Taurus in that way that Empress is Venus and uh, Libra and Taurus, okay? So it's like holding your tongue, right? But don't hold your breath, okay? Continue to breathe, but hold your tongue. Don't hold your breath, okay? And the breath is something that is spiritual, right? Because, uh, you know, spirit is in the breath, right? So don't hold your don't hold your breath, just hold your tongue, okay? And uh, it's also saying to me, Sagittarius, which is actually really good advice for you during this full moon, to hold, <laughs> to hold your tongue. And it's just so funny how chaotic it was when I had to come in and tell you that message with these ads on, honey. So now we back into the groove. You know what I mean? It's like maybe it was a lot of work for you not to say something, right? But you will find that you're able to, like, you know, come down from this place of just being more reserved for this moment or for this period of time. But this is kind of like you were you were able to understand and see a lot in this waiting period that you have been in. Uh, and because you haven't been saying anything... It's, it's allowed you to see something that maybe you wouldn't have seen otherwise at 333. And this is also, um, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So something, you know, cycle is closing. Maybe. Thanks, Sagittarius. Bye.